Good morning everybody. Welcome to my creative time with Emma and also welcome to our very first day of our 84th edition release sneaky peeks. I am super excited because it's going to be, we only have three um, new items we are sharing to, uh, with you this week but they are awesome and I am so excited about all three of them. I cannot wait to share. So we're just going to go ahead and get right into it. Our first brand new die set here. Um, this is our brand new die. It comes with two of them and it's called the gift card gift box die. Now I wasn't sure about this one but then one of my design team members did say you can never have enough gift card holders right because it's true for Christmas time that's basically what we do now so I love love that I have a variety of gift card little gift card you know little holders to work with so this way I like to kind of um, like individualize everyone everybody gets their own special one and I love it and this this edition is so perfect I cannot wait to show you so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you what I made with it first I'm gonna show you the first item I made with it okay so basically it's just a top and bottom a little and this is what it's going to look like how freaking adorable is that okay hopefully you could see that okay this is my favorite die now what I used with this and I thought it went perfectly with it was our and this is I came out with um, this is an existing die I came out with a while ago. This one's called the Stitch Belly Band Dies, and you could use this for um, for any occasion, or you could use it for perfect for a little um, Valentine. You could put, and then this is the little band that I'm you I use to go ahead and put around the actual gift card gift box here. So basically how I did it, now it doesn't clip on like it's supposed to clip on together but it does not since it's got to go around the box. So basically what I did, I just cut out the strip and I kind of just measured it on the box. I put little pencil marks and I scored it there and scored it at the bottom and it was perfect. And I just went ahead and you just glue just a hint of it together. Okay. Um, and then it fits on this box beautifully. And what I did was I used my old school fun bow dies. I love these dies and I'm so excited because as soon as I designed this, I knew for sure I wanted to make it with the little bow. So I, here I use the fun size and the small size bow die. And then I use my teeny tag sentiments along with our, um, this is a teeny tag holidays. Um, now, just so you'll know, I did revise that one because um, we ran out, and I since I had to, you know, I had to do it for my new, my, you know, my latest manufacturer. Um, so I do, I had to revise, and meaning nothing changed on the teeny tag holiday stamps. The only thing different is the fonts. I had to change it because I didn't have the other font that I used when I first in, first initially made that. So I'll probably have these in my store on Friday, okay? And that's this the, the little teeny tag holiday, which fits the little teeny tag dies beautifully. And here goes the box right here. Now there is a smaller version and a bigger version. And I got confused because I was thinking, God, I forgot the way I made it. I actually the big one. I think I told my team I used the big one for the top. You could use it however you want, but I actually used the smaller one for the cover, only because I wanted to. You know how if you wanted to make it two tone, like the bottom part a different color and the top part, and I wanted you to be able to see it. So this way, when you opened it up, and there goes your gift card that looks perfect on the inside and you can put a little bit of crinkle paper on the top I think that'll be cute because that's what I'm going to be doing with my gift cards this year so and then it fits beautifully on there and then you could go ahead and just slide the little belly band onto this Ooh, sorry I got it out of the camera for a quick minute and then you just go ahead and just slide it on there perfectly just like so and you have this beautiful adorable little gift box how cute is that so I'm gonna go ahead and put one together for you right now I went ahead and I cut out some paper here I wanted to do a Christmas version of this okay so since 
you know, Christmas is going to be here before we know it. So basically, there's a score line across there, across there. So hopefully, you could, hopefully that shows up in the camera. And there is a score line here and here. And there's cut lines on all four ends. The both of them are the exact same, okay? So we're going to go ahead and fold up the bigger the bigger one here first. And they fold so easily, you know. Oopsie. My my um I thought there was something wrong with my little die cutting machine, but there wasn't. I had to get new new um plates. So every so often if you think there's something wrong like going on with the die it's usually not the dies the actual cutting plates you're using because that's what happened with me not with this particular die but on another one I was like oh let me just change the plates luckily I got some backup plates so we were good to go so basically I'm hopefully you saw all that what I did so basically what you're going to do is fold these down the little corners and you're going to fold those in okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just use some glossy accents because like I said before, when I put together all of my little treat boxes or anything that has to do with gluing, I love using the glossy accents because it works beautifully. So all you're going to do is just put a little dot there, a little dot there, and then you're just going to go ahead and just lift the sides up here. And then we're going to go ahead and do that like so. I'm just going to hold that. It doesn't take too long to dry. That's what I like about this. But when it dries, it dries forever. It stays forever, I should say. Okay, and then now we're going to do the same thing to this one. A little dot there. A little dot there. And then we're going to go ahead and just put up the sides here. Now you can use this for the cover if you want, but I think this the smaller one fits better on the top. I haven't really tried doing it the opposite, the bigger one on the top. But I know I think I told my team <laughs> the bigger one for the top. But you could do it however you want, whichever way you want to do it. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing with the second one. And we're going to go ahead and just, just see the... It's kind of hard to see the emboss lines with the pattern paper but it works so we're just folding all of the ends do the same thing our last fold here just like so and then we're going to do the same thing put a little glue here now you can use it any adhesive you want but I know when I use the little tape, you know, the little, the little double face, um, that red tape, it comes up, well, mine comes apart at least. Maybe nobody else does, but mine does for sure. And I don't like that. I'd rather have it, you know, let it last forever. Because, you know, somebody might think this is an extra special box and they may want to keep it and they want to, may want to, you know, take the gift out that's inside and use it to re-gift it. And there's nothing wrong with that. Now you could fit some earrings in here. You could fit candy. You could do gift card. You could do cash. Like, I think it's going to be really cute because we have, like, this little thing where we pick names. And I think it would be really cute if I put the cash in this little box, but put it, wrap it, like, with tissue paper. So when they open it, you know, it looks like a little real present with the cash wrapped up in the tissue paper. I think that's going to be really cute. So I'm going to go ahead and just put this on the last one like so. Hold that. Okay, then let's get this together here. And I love the way how my older dies mesh well with my newer ones. I love that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab, I'm going to find a gift card here. Here we go. We're just going to use this one. Okay, so we're going to go ahead, and here goes the bigger one. So we're going to go ahead and just throw the gift card in here. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and put the cover on. Sorry, I have to put it to my face so I can see. 
Okay, so I'm going to put the cover on like so. All right, and then I had this little stretchy silver. I, um, I had this for years in my Christmas stash. I remember buying a few of them, and, and I've just kind of been hoarding them. But this is perfect for it. So what I did was to make a quick super gift, and if you, especially if you want to mass produce these, what you want to do is just grab a piece, make a little bow at the end, like so, and then you're just going to go ahead and put this on. And I remember, I, and I know it's funny because a lot of stores, oopsie, a lot of stores do this, you know. Hold on one second, my little bow is coming apart here. I keep coming out of the camera, sorry. A lot of uh, stores that, you know, offer gift wrapping, this is all they use. So you're just going to go ahead and just put it and stretch it on here. But what I have to do is re-tie it because my little bow came apart. Go ahead and just do it like so. But you could go ahead and have some a whole bunch made already. Hopefully they don't come apart on you. But I think I found that little cord at Michael's. But I'm pretty positive you could get it at any... Um, at any, you know, um, craft store. Okay, sorry, somebody was at my door. I had to go check it. Um, real quick, this right here, I found the easiest way to do this is make a knot first. Just make a knot. So go ahead and tie it once and tie it again. So this way it won't come apart while you're trying to make a bow, as you, as you saw me struggling with that right before I had to pause my video. So... That's basically it. You just make a little bow. And you can go ahead and make a whole bunch of these little ties here to put on top of your gift. And I think it'll be super cute and super easy to throw together. How cute is that? And then you could go ahead and put a little tag on it if you want. Uh, or if you're just handing it to your recipient. And these are perfect to have. So this way when you have guests over... Um, and you guys are doing gift exchanges and sometimes people bring a date or bring a friend that somebody who you weren't really expecting why not just have one of these just plain like to the side with no name tag on it and then this way you can hand them something you know and I always kind of have a little stash of Starbucks gift cards if I know they're going to bring someone extra I'll kind of you know make it special for them like this is an Ulta gift card, you know, if I know if it's going to be like a girlfriend of someone. But if it's somebody, I mean, you can't go wrong with Starbucks. Just have a couple of these on hand with a couple of, you know, some gift gift cards from Starbucks. Because who doesn't love Starbucks, right? So look at how adorable these are. I made them two different ways just so you could see how you could dress it up a little bit more versus dressing it down and making it more simple. But it's perfect and I love it. Um... So that is it, everyone. So definitely don't forget to visit my blog at www.creativetimeforme.com to see what the rest of my amazing team has created using this brand new die, this gift, uh, gift card gift box die. Um, and also don't forget to leave your comments for a chance to win this because this is pretty big. There's two pieces that come with this die. So don't forget to leave your comments for a chance to win that. And I will announce that winner on my blog tomorrow morning. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, and everything we're showcasing this week. So our sneak peeks are Tuesday through Thursday this week. Everything we're sneak peeking these three days will be available for purchase starting this Friday, which I believe is the 19th at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And there will be a special code for you to use at that time to get a discount off of your entire purchase. Okay, everyone? So thank you so very much for tuning in, everybody. Have a fabulous day, and I will see you all back here tomorrow. Bye-bye.